What's up YouTube? So today I want to have a look at Portal by Output. So this is one of my favorite granular effects. So it's different in that a lot of the time with granular stuff, it's it's like a granular instrument. You have to actually load samples and stuff into the thing and then re-trigger it in various different ways with MIDI and stuff. Um, I like the granular effect approach because it allows you to create stuff as part of the sound design process you know say for example you're creating a sound live in a synth to have to render that sound out and load it inside another granulizer and stuff it's just you know just having this effect is just really really cool but also the other interesting thing is for beat mangling so if you've got like a drum beat or something like that being able to mangle it in various interesting ways is really really fun with this plugin so i should probably mention that i did buy this plugin i haven't been endorsed or anything for this video so the opinion is obviously honest and like I try to keep it that way with all of my videos. Anyway, let's dive in and have a look. So I've actually been meaning to do this video for ages. I think I actually bought this plugin like about a year ago or something. It's just every time I kind of open it and say, okay, you know, now's the time to learn it. I end up getting like just stuck into it because it's just so inspiring. Just being able to mangle sounds in so many different ways, I think is particularly interesting. I generally just dive in and start like finding some presets and go that route because I hadn't really previously dived much into the actual advanced settings over here, which we're going to dive into today. So one of my favorite things about this plugin, I don't know um, how many of you guys know this, but I believe the person responsible for at least this part of Portal is the same person uh, behind Minimal Audio and Rift. And one of the reasons why I think that plugin is so great is just the modulation curves, the way that the system is being, like you're able to kind of draw these curves and stuff in, it's just so intuitive. Um, it's one of the most intuitive kind of MSEG modulation curve systems I think I've seen in a plugin before. It's just super fluid, uh, very intuitive. I absolutely love it. I think it's great. And just the ability to just randomize it as well. Like most of the time I'm not even drawing in these things, um, but I find just these curves and stuff are just so great. They just sound like really nice to get these kind of like very organic kind of movements. Do you know what I mean? Um, we also have a humanize. So what that does is it kind of randomizes this curve or like this modulation up or down at these points each time it cycles, which I think is another really, really great feature. So anyway, beyond just the modulations, which I think is probably the strongest part of this plugin, we have three main effects systems. There are still extra effects over here, which we're going to dive into a little bit later. But there's three main kind of effect systems. You have this stretch. And what this does is it basically stretches the audio input. So it kind of sounds like you're time stretching a sample. You can actually turn this off and just use the main grain controls if you want. And then you've also got a grain delay over here. So for those who don't understand how a granular system works, it's essentially taking little bits of audio data and replaying them with different parameters. So for example, let's call each audio sample that it's re-triggering, let's call it a granule. The offset would be the time in between each of the granules. I believe the density and size are, you know, how many granules or it's almost like how much decay are in the granules. And then the count would be the overall amount of granules. You can apply pitch and various other things to the actual granules themselves. I like to actually unlock this parameter here. So you've got the ability to actually change the size higher than the density. So you kind of almost sounds like a granular reverb type of effect. Anyway, there's various different things we can do to the sound here. We can also just modulate it. But just so you guys get an idea of how this sounds, how in my opinion, how great it sounds. Um, I'm just going to play around with the settings while I'm playing this audio loop through it galaxies and all living beings. Is there a communicative symphony happening that remains invisible? And awareness? What is the language of quantum communication? How does the universe communicate from subatomic particles, superstrings, atoms? What is the language of quantum communication? How does the universe communicate from subatomic particles, superstrings, atoms, planets, and all beings? Is there, is there a communicative symphony happening that remains, that remains invisible, invisible to our current technology and awareness? Galaxies, galaxies and all living beings. Is there a communication? 
So with these vocal types of things, I generally don't do too much modulation of the pitch. If you do want to get more of a kind of pitch modulation thing going on, you can actually lock the scale here using this parameter. So you've got free tuning, chromatic, fifths, all sorts of different things. So I'm just going to leave that because I kind of want it at the same root note that it is, but maybe we can look at slowing it down. So this is particularly interesting because traditionally you'd actually have to take the sample and slow it down, but all it does is it reads the audio buffers at a different speed within the plugin as it's playing them back. So that audio, like the amount of t uh, time between the times that it reads is determined by this re-trigger speed. And you'll see here that this speed, like speeds up this motion here. So it basically records a little piece of audio and then you change like the speed that it plays back that piece of audio and you change the kind of speed of that or the size of that bit of audio that it can record. Does that make sense? so we've got various effects here built in into this effects section over here we've got a bit reducer which is really cool to get like more digital type of stuff so obviously you know the name says it all <laughs> So this chorus sounds really nice like it so it goes into the audio range and that kind of creates that like FM like sound. We can maybe even modulate this slightly in and out. <laughs> Oh, that is fantastic. So I want to show a couple of other use cases where this could be particularly handy. Um, what I like to do is, let's say, for example, I want to chop together a quick vital sound. And <clears throat> say, for example, we're busy sound designing here. Let's just go phase random zero. I want to create a quick, like, uh, lasery sound. But I also want to do a bit of a phase disperse on it. Maybe a bit of maybe a bit of bend on it as well. Like a hard sync. And then we can resynthesize preset to wavetable. 
So we're creating our own like custom FM type of thing. So say for example we've created a sound here and we know, and we want to granularize it. Now having to load it up into a granular synth would just be a bit of a pain in the butt. But here, like it's just its own whole set of like workflow things. Can you even believe that that came from this FM gated sound? Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. So it's also really good for beat mangling type of things. So for this type of thing, I want to show you in a different project. Hold on a sec. Give me one moment. So here I've got a quick beat that I was slapping together and what I want to show you is how to quickly create these beat mangling effects. So generally speaking, it's just a matter of modulating this pitch parameter over here. We could also change these speeds and that kind of thing, but just check the kind of like beat mangling kind of capabilities of modulating this pitch here with these random... And what I do is like I'll humanize it and then maybe just render out a large portion and cherry pick the best parts. <laughs>
Another cool thing is if you set this to octaves and then you only modulate this, in, if you set this to octaves and modulate the pitch with some of these beat mangling things, it generally snaps it to like double speed, half speed and that kind of thing. So you get a little bit more technical with these kind of beat mangling things when you set the scales to octaves. So like I said, with this, it's a little bit noisy, but I would generally render out a large portion of it. Uh, we can load it up and then chop, like cherry, cherry pick the best parts to use as like drops and that kind of thing. Awesome. Anyways, that's about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. In case you're wondering, the best way to support me is on Patreon or by buying my preset packs on my store. All the links are in the description. See you guys next time. Cheers.